<laughs> We're back with yet another Bleach Brave Souls video, and uh, <laughs> you guys have no idea how excited I am to showcase this character. Lige Barro, he's not even four years old, but he's going to be in the next couple of months. Um, he actually got his resurrection, and this is like close to the end of year of 2020 when he first came out and when he came out we had a plethora of power soul reaper killers too many to be honest that just getting another one was really pissing us off but i got him action sended and ever since then he became one of my favorite stern Riders to play as a character that i heavily enjoyed using him and he got his resurrection and well i dare say I dare say that in terms of what he got, it's almost close to how Dokkan does their easy A's. I mean really, really close because if you guys play Dokkan Battle, you guys know that um, UI uh, Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, they're like, what, top three best units in the game? And they're like, from what? <sighs> the sixth year anniversary. And this is something really close because what he got really puts him above well, you know, among the top 10 power characters that we have in the game. Now, granted, you guys can make the argument that power is not in a good position with its characters, so it's kind of to be expected. But honestly speaking, the fact that they made this character into the best IT character is insane. Because what did he get? On the soul trait, he picked up damage to enemies not afflicted by an element of 16%. Okay. We're going to call that uh, pure damage, just so that way it's going to be easier to call this out. But uh, yeah, alrighty, this is really good because this is a character that does not inflict sad summons. So he was never going to make a comeback for guild quests. So in my opinion, the right thing to do was make him really amazing for inheritance trials. And guess what? They did just that. Uh, that being said, the innate skills, they're just whatever. He now has read Soul Reaper dodges and can dodge Soul Reaper damage by 50%. So it's basically like... Um, what is it close to six anniversary Eisen when he had the dodge i know he can't read the soul reaper uh, dodges but like you guys get the point i would have preferred if he had a lot more damage along the lines or like even nullify range resistance since he is the x-axis but oh well it is what it is the bruiser and berserker remained unchanged now you guys would normally look at it and say it's bad but wait 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 uh look at that uh more pure damage so 16 percent is already added on top of it why don't we subtract the 16 from 66 yeah he has an extra 50 percent more pure damage which is yeah it makes up for not getting an extra berserker value increase and it works and then look at this his hidden enemy skills got changed to hit hidden enemies plus pierce iron skin and it's insane. It's actually insane. Now, he's just able to penetrate through Iron Skin, got 66% more damage, and he's going to be able to do it just fine. And the crazy thing is that Power does not have a really good character with Pierce Iron Skin. The only one that we have is Yumi Chika, and that guy sucks because his kit was not well made for Inheritance Trials on top of having a pretty low damage multiplier. He only had like, what, 60% Berserker with 20% character strong attack damage. That's all he had. Now, you guys can kind of make the same case that with 40% Berserker and 66, he just basically has like, what, 26 more damage over Yumi Chika, which can be the case, but it's not really it because these are different types of damage multiplicative buffs. So at the end of the day, uh, he's going to be completely fine. And the fact that he's a resurrectable character, just by having him uh, alone in your box, you can go into the actual quest mode itself of the special move training grounds and get him 2-5 for free. If you guys have him 3-5, there you guys go. You have access to the 5-5. Five five. Anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough. Let's get this showcasing him. Okay, so here's the setup. We have ourselves the Quincy Cross Pill, 
and the K fastener all with 30% SP. Match incentive links right across the bat with 500 SP, SP bonus ability. And uh, we have Nemu here because she does also give out an extra 16% pure damage. And since this is a character that does not inflict ailments, we can get away with that and get that rounded up to 82% more damage to enemies not afflicted by an ailment, which is pretty damn insane. And rounding things up, we have his uh, strong attack damage at 60%, the full stam at 50, and also have another 20% more strong attack damage when at full stam, with over 170% SP. Now, there's just one more thing left to do, because we're also going to showcase the total damage that we can do, so we're going to pop off Long Shride for SP, and then once we get to showcasing him in IT, I'm going to swap back to Long Shride, because I feel like that's going to be the best way to use him in Inheritance Trials. And would you look at that? The SP count that we have on Lige is a good whopping 7.7k SP. And this is the best that you're going to see once you get a match transcended with match transcended links, which is stupid. It's actually kind of ridiculous, unless you want to be stupid and give them like, I don't know, golden Yuki's Yuki's just to get the boast out of the SP, but then lose out on the crits. But still, this is the best that you're going to get out of a character once you have the unit match transcended and have all the links match transcended with the SP bonus ability. Now, that being said, um... I don't have Yumi Chica, unfortunately, on my main account, meaning that I can never be able to get the character strong attack damage buff for power. So with us instead, we're still going to be bringing the Christmas Yuruichi because she does boost on the second strong attack, has the booster skill, so extra 43% focus, and then Parasol Rukia because she does offer recharge when moving in between the quest areas. And that's all you guys really need to see here. That's why I'm bringing this failed experiment for Limit Breaker quest. And we're going to go ahead and jump right in here in the quest in Inheritance Zone. And we do have Killer, so we'll get to see almost the best damage that I can do. Almost because I just don't have the Yumi Chica character. All right, let's get right into it. Before we see the best damage that you can do, let's just remind ourselves what kind of kit the character had. So he had a 3K length beam with 870 width. Yeah, that's already really good. SA2, 960 AOE in front, and then the SA3 is a 1200 radius uh, full screen. Um, yeah, I find it sad that this guy is already miles better than the new uh, Visored Ichigo that we got as a remake, which, wow, that's just kind of sad, <laughs> if I'm being 100% honest. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's just see the base damage that he can do now. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, his Nat String is, he's the progenitor of the uh, melee collision beam attack, so, I don't know, if for whatever reason you guys want to go for a Nad build, it's okay now that he has the 66% pure damage, but I wouldn't really recommend it for IT. Now the 79k against Soul Reapers. 100k! I'm already liking what I'm seeing here. <laughs> okay, where are the other Soul Reapers? And 90k. And this is without the boost. Now let's boost. 100k on the SA1. That's a stupid. Oh, bro, where are the other Soul Reapers? Come on, you cannot be serious. Let me see the best that he can do. Oh, bro, okay, at least the SA3. 106k just like that. We're gonna have to boost ourselves up again, so hold on. I'm gonna jump cut real quick. Yo, Rukia's recharge is so clutch. Okay, let's see. Are there any Soul Reaper mobs? Let me check real quick. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> boost. And 126k. Yeah, uh, that's definitely very sufficient for Inheritance Trials. Considering the enemy mobs don't have a lot of HP and it's just the bosses, Lige should be able to do insanely nicely in co-op Inheritance Trials. And as a matter of fact... Yo, they finally fixed that bug. What the hell? <laughs> that's just so stupid. But uh, yeah. Uh, we can actually bring him into Inheritance Trials now, and we're gonna do a solo one at that. But first, let me swap the bonus of both these from SB to Longstride. I'd rather do that. Alright guys, here we are in Co-op Inheritance Trials. The setup is pretty much exactly the same, but we did swap out SP for Longstride, so now he'll be blitzing through IT like as if it's nothing. Now, yes, we're gonna have a bit less SP at our disposal, but I already did the math of the total that he has, and uh, yeah, he currently has 7,199 SP. So it doesn't even matter. We'll just get through this IT like as if it's nothing. And he also doesn't have killer here, 
besides the bosses since uh, enemies are going to be hollows and most of the bosses are hollows slash soul reaper bosses so we'll actually have a bit of killer effect in there which is actually going to be pretty interesting getting right into it we need to be careful about these stab summon puddles for starters but uh yeah look at what he can do uh he definitely was not capable of doing this in it uh when the game mode first came out because his whole problem was not being able to inflict status summons to bypass the iron skin and you had to rely on pure damage and uh look at what he does now this is a prelude to how uh fifth annie biox resurrection and daddy ichigo's resurrection is gonna be because uh yeah it's gonna be quite insane if you guys ask me <laughs> wow yeah look at that just one shots that's just stupid now uh if you guys have the mashiro link uh you guys can use that on him and farm super potions consistently like as if it were nothing and he'd be the best power character to use for inheritance trials better than the likes oh the touch came in clutch better than the likes of parasol rukia better than the likes of future society okiora better than masaki better than eighth anniversary ichigo better than yamamoto and he'll do very consistently because all you need to do is just tap your strong attacks soul bomb tap your strong attacks there you guys go and that was really fast holy hell what is that clear time let me check real quick okay although some of my strong attacks did miss but i feel like i did quite well honestly a minute and 10 seconds that's amazing this is mini tensa level of clear time yeah definitely among one of the best resurrections that we have out there right now in the game i'm glad that he got the treatment that he uh got it would have been the cherry on top if he had the super link slot potion skill as well just to be able to farm it out since they did make him into an inheritance trust anywho uh my overall verdict best soul reaper killer for power considering he's gonna do the job better than spirits are forever with you kenny and kisuke the beyond bankai version uh yeah for guild quest though uh he's not gonna be good to use in guild quest since uh, you want to have status elements and not just flat damage and uh compared to safui kenny and kisuke sure they'll do just a tad bit better but they've fallen off by a good long mile and we have way better characters to use over them so it's not even an overall competition but uh yeah what if i have him playing like as if he were a 2-5 character how would he perform let's just go and take away the uh sp uh slot just to be a bit more realistic because not everyone will have him 5-5 five five. and i only need to do that because uh realistically speaking uh just by having one copy doing the special move quest you'll actually get access to the 2-5 and the 3-5 just make sure to do it every day and you'll get him to 3-5. Before getting back in, let's do the math real quick. We have 1,391 SP now, so plus the ones I get from the accessories and the links. Uh, yeah, 5.8k SP. That's how much I have, and we're still rocking nicely. How much damage do we lose now that he's not Max Transcendent? <laughs> Basically, almost none against the small mobs. We're just capable of one-shotting. It's against the bigger mobs where... Uh, we'll see a bit of a difference in damage because we're not going to be able to one shot him faster but against the soul mo the small mobs uh, yeah they don't have a lot of health like just look we're still able to clear out multiple waves and it's thanks to his skills like uh yeah you you don't even need to five five this character just buy the character if you do not own him from the character pack or just hope you get him in a future thousand of lower banner in which he does return as a filler and uh yeah uh, wow we still we still cleaned out the bosses with just two strong attacks and uh yeah what i was saying is just wait for him to be back in a banner and hope to get him or just take the safe route if you guys have the money and can't afford it pick up the character pack it's only going to be like around 20 dollars and you'll get the character and it'll be worth the buck because you're also going to be getting a crap ton of orbs from the character pack and you're getting a really solid character now we did lose damage this was not a try hard challenge like i was going for the 5-5 five five, but look at this this is still solid this is still really solid i lost a uh, full stamina damage boost and i'm still cleaving let that sink in i was still cleaving this inheritance trials despite losing the effect of my orihime link and losing the full stand bonus ability uh, yeah <laughs> this is beautiful 
This is actually beautiful. Oh yeah, I also lost the effect of the juice hurling. And I still got a minute and 15 seconds clear time. What are you smoking? What are you smoking, Lee <laughs> Oh, yeah, I love this resurrection. I love him, and I'm definitely going to be using him a lot more for farming super pots alongside my ult. I do not care. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about his resurrection in the comment section down below. Personally speaking, the way of how he is right now, he is definitely among the top 10 power characters. I I'm not I'm not joking when I say this. He's definitely among there. And it's also because power has not gotten a lot of really good characters to solidify that. that he just takes it's gonna be crazy because, oh my god. Imagine once this character gets a resurrection, man. And we're closing in on that too. We're getting very close. We're three rounds off of that. After this batch of Lige, we have Yama, Shoujiro, and Izuru. Then the next batch is Masaki, Ishin, and Ryuken. And then finally, Daddy, Ichigo, and Mami Rukia. Those characters will be by far the best defining resurrections I will get in the game. And I can definitely see Daddy Ichigo getting the same upgrades as Lishe, if not better than him. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll have a Max Transcendent Nanao showcase later on by my boy Retsu. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So have a pleasant day, lads. Peace out. Bye. Sanada. Ciao, ciao. Oh お前の全てを奪った。お前たちの抱く希望を見る間に全て私の心に砕いてやる。さあ、新たな世界へ。リーチ、ブレイブソウルズ。